vision as it comes to life. Ready for work. Um, equipments are checked. Chelsea's setting up the galley. Uh, Winnie is setting up the forward galley. We are ready to go. There's ice back there. There's everything that we need. I think we're gonna board from the back. We're gonna board from the back. We're ready to board. Bye bye. We have made it to Miami. Um. I have some water here to drink. <laughs> I'm gonna switch out my in-flight shoes with my terminal shoes. Um, I reach up in the room, I do my room checks and everything, and realize that the phone is not working because I'm trying to call concierge or like the front desk to ask them, where is the microwave? give me a wake-up call for 4 a.m. and the phone is not ringing like the buttons make all the noise the volume button does a fake ring but there's no dial tone there is no ringing and it's not like it's not like the phone is off because like I said everything else is making noise so I said, no man what is going on because at this point I am really just tired and frustrated that I have to go way back downstairs which regardless I had to go for my food because I just had a feeling the microwave was down by that side I'm gonna put my yogurts in the fridge I plan to eat them for our breakfast tomorrow or even eat one later tonight as a little snack uh, I have everything else I'd need I don't think I want to bring my laptop in the bed. If y'all know me, like in a real life, I sleep with my laptop. So when I reach home, even if I'm not using it, my laptop is literally in bed with me. It's actually crazy. Obviously when I have like someone, like my cousins or Chad or mommy or somebody like in a bed with me, I'm not gonna like make space with a laptop over them i'm gonna move it but when it's just me in the bed my laptop is my partner partner in crime i'm so drained i'm tired the flight from miami oh i forgot to tell you guys the flight from miami was a whopping three hours and 45 minutes and i don't know if you remember from earlier well i was guessing if it was going to be three hour 45 even though the internet and then people just said four hours and plus it was three hours and 45 minutes. I was right. <sighs> I'm really becoming a flight attendant. Like, you know, we, we can guess these time flight times so easy now. It's actually really crazy. Um, Guys, I'm so tired. I'm so drained. I don't have the energy to be all happy like what you're used to. But I'm glad that I'm back vlogging again. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Good morning crew, good morning world. We're about to sign in for work. Give me one second. So we are all fine. You're lucky the camera is facing me because I need to record. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> We're heading down on the plane. We're heading from Miami to New York. New York. It's an early, early morning flight, but it's one leg, and we reach. Go down, get the We reach early. Wait, 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 wait. This is a hassle to get your bags. 
Yeah, my content. Back in New York, all done. I'm quick, okay? Yeah. I'm in a competition in my head, so I have to beat you. <laughs> excuses, excuses. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, guys, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and yeah, it was a long, draining trip, but we had the most fun. With that being said, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Baby squad, I know the video has these little lines. <sighs> I know why. I remember from last time. Um, I don't just don't know why they pop up now all of a sudden. But me, my man Kevin, we're heading to the supermarket to do some grocery shopping. I made a list. I'm hoping to get some um Japanese rice or sushi rice. Uh, so I can make some onigiri because I've been really really obsessed and I think that it will be perfect for me to bring um, to work it's such a simple meal to make that I'm gonna try and get the um, ingredients to make it and I was looking at making like ramen and stuff like that but I don't know I don't know what I want um, I'm looking also, I'm going to Whole Foods to see what else I can get, what else is on their menu so I can just go pick up what I need and get out. Look at mommy. I was showing you off, I was recording me and then you come out. I'm just having a good day, what's up with that, huh? Yeah. Don't it be like a problem to you all? What's up, what's up, what's up? I met several subscribers. I eh? um like your energy and I asked for you. Really? Mm hmm I met Vanessa in the airport in Kingston and she asked for you. She's like, Bukana, I love you so much and your mother and she's proud of the building and all them something that she had built too. And then I meet some other people at the airport and I don't love off mommy. Yeah, man said to myself, we make you all smile. That's what the mom is. Uh-huh. She said, I'm a subscriber for your daughter. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then she said, no, she said, I'm a B squad. And I said, oh, oh, okay. Thank you for supporting her. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I really thank her for supporting me because, you know, yeah. they're family you away from family. Yeah, them, them come, them ride from my heart, man. Like, yeah. what was I talk about it? I'm gonna support me so it's much. Good. Mm -hmm. This is a good little thing for to keep you going, you know? Yeah, well, and we keep each other going because. And then I meet some flight attendants, some new flight attendants, and they said they became a flight attendant because of me. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, people message me and say them, them go on apply and them a good training. I'm gonna meet. When I was just doing my trip yesterday to Boston, I walk and I talk to myself, and this girl was like, Bacana? Look around. And as she, she said, I was literally just talking to my mom about you. She said, you're the reason why I became a flight attendant. We took a picture. Good. Yeah. That's what life it should be. Yeah. Influence people to do positive stuff. To do positive things, right? <sighs> well, alright guys. Bye. I'll see you in the supermarket. Mm. We're back from the supermarket. Okay. Second time's a charm. So I got some grapes. The household can have some. I can count all of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, mama, woman. <laughs> I got some ice cream. It was a long time when I get my ice cream. So I got ultra chocolate ice cream. 
super supreme. Mm -hmm. The household. I'm going to measure it out, make sure it weighs how much it's supposed to weigh. <laughs> I got some mayonnaise. No, mayonnaise is already in the fridge, but I need it for my specific um, Japanese meal I'm about to make. I got some sushi nori. Seaweed. And I got some kimchi. This is Korean kimchi. For some reason, this is not focusing. They barely, oh, there we go. Got the kimchi. I got the mirin, which is rice wine. I got milk. Mommy got milk. <laughs> I got this dessert, French mini beignets. Oh, I don't know, them did just look nice, so. Pick them up. I don't really pick up desserts like that. So seeing this ice cream and this beignet, mommy no. Mommy no, I pick up one and two things and put it in her cart. And that's that's it, right, mommy? Mm. So the fact that I got this, spent my own money. I'd be so proud of her. Why spend the money when mommy doesn't buy it already? That's my model. Oh, I got this tuna. We already have tuna in the house, but again, just want to try something. For um. Honey crisp apples. I really like these apples. Especially it's in the name. It's sweet and crispy. I really like how it is. I got this sockeye salmon. Gonna also put that in my Japanese thing. So I need to cook it. And last but not least, the most expensive thing on this list is the Kokuho Rose um sushi rice and this one was the one that the most people recommended because of the stickiness so when i put it in the rice cooker i can make sushi with it and i can also make my onigiri that's what i'm gonna make i'm gonna pop up an image of it so you can see what it looks like but i got those every single morning and night when i was in japan and it was just so good and as you saw from the previous video when I was in Jamaica, Kai and I went to the um, East Japanese restaurant and I got them there as well. It was just... So I want to make it myself. So that's it. This is it. Okay, this is not it. I have the seaweed that goes down at the bottom. But I'm so proud of myself. So I have the seaweed that goes like here. Actually, I've already posted a picture at this point. But more on show I want to say whenever i lie to her when it comes to how close it looks look this is it right here this emoji oh i literally will pop it up on the screen this emoji that is this oh my god okay i'm gonna eat it I'm not gonna put the seaweed on one of them. The fact that I can only remember what's in these because I can see it, but I don't want them in my garden. I have regular salmon, salmon with tuna, I mean salmon with mayonnaise, tuna with mayonnaise. I also had kimchi in the fridge, but I'm gonna forget because I'm gonna put like a kimchi on it. Um, but I, or I'm not gonna be like a kimbap, but I forgot. Anyways, this is it. I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. Alright guys, this is it with the nori. Ah, I'm so proud. I am back in Barbados. My camera is fogging up. I am so sorry. I think that's a little bit better. But we're waiting on our driver. He is coming now. We're gonna head to our hotel. And yeah. Um... I don't know guys, I'm gonna call Barbados my third home. Jamaica number one, Japan number two, Barbados number three. Because the way I'm there at Barbados like a my place. Yeah, alright, let's get to the hotel and I'll see you guys. Walking to KFC. I need to walk like a bit faster because it was a long walk the last time. 
took me a recruited walk so but this area right outside the hotel does have some amazing restaurants this is the second crew member to recommend the food and the beaches are equally as beautiful as by the hotel I mean it's the same beach um, my hair is looking real crazy so I need to come back tonight rinse it out and fix it up but look how I look crazy hey it is what it is if I go back to the room I'm never gonna step out again so yeah here we go at the KFC in Barbados and what I see I don't know maybe I'm mistaken but I don't really see a lot of KFC in Jamaica that have outdoor seating and it's quite a lot of seats that line the beach which I don't really see I would love to see something like that in Jamaica I mean with COVID and everything that went down of course you know you know we don't want to go back to those memories but yeah times have changed and I think some nice outdoor seating but then again Jamaica is so hot that I don't know if this will be feasible but it, it is really it is a sight to see and there's a lot of people sitting in these seats and they make use of the parking space so I like that all right so our first impression the line is well the line inside is much shorter of course you can tell the line outside is long same as you that expect in Jamaica the line is long <laughs> Um, but with that being said, they do have a lot of like stuff that I'm familiar with. Like they have the, first of all, they, they just say three piece, two piece, um, combos. In Jamaica, you'd have like meal deal or big deal. But here they do have big boxes, which I did put, um, I will put over me talking now. And they also have Zinger which mommy, me, mommy and Kevin were just having this conversation a couple days ago that a lot of countries don't have Zinga because it's so unique and all this extra stuff but yeah, um, KC and Barbados have the Zinga they also have popcorn chicken which I think many other countries have it and they have the hot wings combo so that's very, it's very nice to see so I just stuck with something very normal I got the three peas meal combo and I mixed it with the only two options which is original and spicy I'm not until I try it let me tell you how much it came to it was 61.50 um i'm gonna pull up the conversion to usd so you can see how much that is that is 30 dollars whoa that dear so 15 dollars per meal so 30 dollars and 47 cents I think what brought it up as well is their taxes, which was 17.5%. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you. If you wanna pause and read. I'm gonna wait till I get back to the hotel to show you a proper eating video. Cause y'all know I like to eat and watch my movies, so. Um, if you want to check out the video that I did when I was in England, I believe it was my second England vlog. I only got two of them up, so you might as well watch the both of them, but I did do a KC haul in one of the England vlogs. The fries is, is okay. It's alright. The chicken on the other hand really does look really nice. Look fresh and crisp and everything in between. I can't lie. Which one? They give me a leg and two thighs. And then I think they, they give me a breast, a leg, and a thigh. In that one. So I'm really, really excited to go in and try it. I just now have to walk like 30 minutes to get back to the hotel. On my way though, I did see a Jamaican restaurant. 
and I think that would be really 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 nice to just stop by the have some good food and buy that too and see and see oh my god it's so exciting I'm so happy all right bye we've arrived to the restaurant last time you guys I think it's called backyard authentic Jamaican cuisine sponsors are Smirnoff Grace and Johnny Walker and you know what it's in such a beautiful location right by the beach I'm gonna check out the menu and see if there's anything I want I'll definitely be back in Barbados because as y'all saw I got the KFC I really want to try that and actually eat it I'm gonna spend good money on it <laughs> it was not cheap um so I want to definitely support my Jamaicans all across the world so if you're ever here check out this place let me know what you think about it and I'm gonna go see what the menu has sorry I know this is not the clearest menu I don't know if you can pause and read and squint and see it's just very fine um, but I'll try my best to get some closer sorry for taking so long I um, had to fix my hair because I know I'm not gonna have energy to do it tomorrow so I fixed the front of my hair that was looking crazy so <laughs> and I'm trying on this one piece swimsuit the top is so cute so I'm gonna keep it on um, I want to take a picture on my phone but Barbados KFC let's see what you have Right, let me see which one is mine. I'm about to because I want mommy to also judge. Of course, it's not gonna taste as this one is mine crisp and fresh as the first day, but she will be trying it tomorrow, so it's gonna be amazing. Nonetheless, let's hope, right? I'm really excited. Again, let me take out some of these things. They put the ketchup in the box and they put a fork in the box. I have not seen that done. They also put napkins in the box. Maybe that's supposed to limit the contact people are having with like utensils and you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm so sorry. I'm not. I'm really tired. I haven't slept in like a day. So if I'm not the most vocal or oriented right now, just please bear with me. I'm just so hungry. I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, let me take this picture so I can show my crew member them because they wanted to know. I'm going to take a video for my TikTok. Make sure you go and check me out over there. Okay, that's that let's actually bite into it now they gave me um mm, an original piece of leg let's see it don't taste no different i swear you cannot mess up other than one country which we shall not name you cannot mess up original chicken this original chicken tastes the same as in Jamaica. It tastes the same as in the UK, but I think it was a specific location that I went to. You can't mess up original chicken. Alright, as for the spicy, well, you can't hear all crunchy. Yeah, you can, <laughs> but it is crunchy. I have ketchup. I'm going to do that on the side. And again, I already told y'all about the fries. The fries are sub. There's nothing special about the fries. I definitely like um, KFC in Jamaica. I like their fries the best. I don't recall Guyana fries. And UK fries was also very much the same as this. Jamaica fries is very crisp. Like fresh, uh, fresh out the oil, baby but it's not bad all right let's go for let's go for the spicy
really good. Really good. I don't want this to seem like everything I'm comparing to Jamaica, but Jamaica is my bar, okay? Jamaica is my bar, so this is what I'm giving. And most of my audience are from Jamaica. So I want to give people an authentic, relatable reaction. Um, overall, this and Jamaica are close. They're my cousin. They're not a twin, but they're my cousin. And you know what that means. This is really good. I would definitely buy KFC in Barbados again. I would, I would rate Jamaica number one still. But from what I've tried so far, Barbados is definitely number two. Definitely. And I can see why it would be number one for you. It is very good. Not in a taste bad. It don't taste bad. This is a... Let's get a good 7.5 out of 10. I got you quick. Um, the weight, it was a little bit of a weight, but I could actively see that they're moving fast. Like in Jamaica, unfortunately, the wait time is so long, and then the employees in the store move like. So that's very, 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 very annoying. But in Barbados, you can see like them, they have a line set up. And even though they might joke and I laugh and I talk with each other, you can still see so them uh, move, them, uh, do them, them, uh, do them things fast, which I really, really appreciate it. Because I was watching everything. The place was empty on the inside, like I said, but there was a line on the outside, a very, very long line. People were also sitting in... um under those umbrellas but i realized for Sheffet, people are also sitting outside and you know it would it just that just seems like a cultural thing in a jamaica people buy them kfc and got them yard which there were people in in the barbados kfc that got their food and left but i feel like ever since covid people in jamaica don't really linger in stores like that to eat their food um which i would like to see change because there's just something so I don't know I don't know how to describe it in Japan when I went into the I think it was McDonald's to see the place packed like with people just sitting down eating that was it just felt normal the most simple way it just felt normal but anywho I really really enjoyed um, Barbados KFC so I don't want to shut off on the ears anymore highly recommend it would buy it again from one of my crew members. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Ooh, big bite. Mm-hmm. Big oh. bite. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is very good. Uh-huh. My first time. Yes. I'm getting KFC uh -huh. in Jamaica. Everybody said, you got to go. I'm finally here, and I can say it is definitely worth it. Oh, perfect. It is really good. Um, so what yeah, did you, you try get? It. What did you get? I got the, the big wing box. Yes. So I got some barbecue wings. I got a piece of chicken. I got some biscuits and some fries. Okay. And everything's fire. That's amazing. No way. You want to move upstairs? You want? <laughs> that is crazy. I know how I like to have a solo. He's like, you can't go by yourself. He's like, you need a Nigerian machine. Where are you? Like, Where are scammers in Nigeria. They're like that's trying where, to that's, 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 that's what that's where, that's where, that's where it came from. That's the scamming capital of the world. <laughs> you just finished? Yeah. Yeah, KFC. KFC. 
The KFC is up the road, girl. You're not far. Neither am I. I love that. You know what I'm saying? I love that for you. I love that for you. Huh? Too. Who's that? They're, kind of like they're my crew. <laughs> they're my crew members. They don't have the wings. I don't want to wait. They're, they're my crew minutes. members. Guys, look at Jekyll's Atomart. This is Kai's new office space. So if you want to come and take a look at a car in person, go to their Instagram, Jekyll's Atomart. And check it out. You can import cars from different countries. They're your people. You can import cars. No, let me rework that. You can buy cars that are already here. They're your people. You can buy cars to put on the road as taxis. That requires um, specific paperwork, specific vehicles. They're your people. So yeah, definitely come and check out Jekyll's out tomorrow. I'm Grizzle. Where is the... Uh oh. That's <laughs> somebody in the one. No, no, no. What? I want to finish mixing. Wrapping it in water. Oh! Oh! I'm too shy to look at this! I see you! I right, hold it properly so it don't drop out. Hold it down here. Good morning. I met an amazing subscriber yesterday. Her name is Markian. She was so kind. She said she's been watching me from a move back to Jamaica. So that was amazing. But she never wanna come on camera. I don't know why, but I'm afraid of the camera, bud. But I really appreciate that you guys come up to me and say hello. And I always try to say it, but I don't get to see faces. I see numbers and comments. So when you guys come up to me, it feels amazing. Like, I want to cry. But anyways, we are leaving now. The shuttle is here. We got breakfast. Chad left. You didn't get to see Chad, um, but uh, you saw... Hi, I'm Jackson. At least I know you saw Jackson. So, um, let's go. Good morning. It's been a couple days since I've last talked to you guys, but um, I'm here. You know, first of all, I finished my Japan part one vlog. And I'm gonna do part two today and I'm gonna work on my Jamaica vlog for my birthday and I'm gonna work on my flight attendant vlog like I feel productive I even went to the gym yesterday not sure if I'm gonna go today but I'll try my best um, I've been doing a lot of doctor's appointments and I've been having some like issues um, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell is going on but um you probably can't tell I'm losing eyebrow hair my skin keeps peeling <laughs> like I have a dermatologist appointment coming up um my GP recommended that I go see a dermatologist and man when I tell you I've been to the general practitioner I've been to my gynecologist I've done and gotten blood work I've gotten like it like um other type of exams man when I tell you I am putting my insurance to good use but unfortunately it's just I'm going through some stuff so I've, I've just not felt really good so I'm trying to get back to it um, but anyways this is a jewelry that I bought in um, Japan and it was packaged and I was like you know what I'm not gonna open it I'm going to wait for my birthday which was literally a month a month before I went no a month after I went to Japan so now I'm gonna open it because I just remembered which is now almost a month after my birthday so I have bought bought this almost a month and a half to two months ago I just did not want to take the packaging off like they wrapped this bow so cute maybe I can try uh, I just don't want to take it off okay almost there 
Okay, there we go. It is so beautiful how they did it. Yeah, this is going in my um it's going in my memory box for sure. The camera keeps focusing on my face. I'm so sorry. Okay. Let me open this. It was the jewelry for my ears. It's um how do I describe it? It doesn't you don't need to have a piercing. They're come they're almost like clip-on, but they're not clip-on. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But let me show you what they look like. It's three pieces. This silver piece. There's this other mini silver piece. Okay, this is the best it's gonna be. It's pissing me off, and if I let it piss me off. I'm going to be the one in a shitty mood, not the camera. And then this one, which is more of a cuff, is so pretty. Okay. There's this one. This one. Oh. I just can't show it as good as I would like. And then there's this very tiny, very tiny one. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. We are heading shopping today. Let me tell you why I'm going shopping. Because I want some new summer stuff. I don't go anywhere. And I feel like, which is a flawed theory, if I buy some stuff, I'll go more places. Very flawed. But even on my layovers, I could bring some more cute outfits and just, you know, just be cute and stuff. Um... But yeah, I saw this brand on TikTok and real cute clothes, really, really cute. So I was going to buy two of her two-piece sets, which are handmade in um, Scotland. So I've been watching the days, watching the days, and the drop is today, April 30. The time for the drop came on the website yesterday. So the drop is at 10 a.m. So I'm like, you know, logically thinking she's in scotland of course the time is going to be 10 a.m like whatever zone scottish time 10 a.m scottish time right so i was like oh okay cool i'll stay up or at least i'll try to wake up for it um needless to say i did not stay up and i did not wake up so i'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth at 8 a.m and i'm like oh the drop I went on the website, sold out, next drop is in a month. You know, it's probably going to take like at least, okay, it's going to be a month. She probably needs 7 to 14 days to actually make the items. Then it's probably going to take another 7 to 14 days to get to me. <laughs> oh, but they're so cute. So I think in a month I will try again. But now I'm low-key depressed because, you know, I was so content with buying those two, well, technically four items, but they're two sets. I was so content. I was like, okay, gonna be cute, gonna be cute, gonna be nice little, you know, splurge. No. So you know what? I'm going to the mall and I'm gonna splurge. No, I'm gonna buy stuff. I think I may spend probably $500, which is not a lot of money for a lot of people, but I know how to shop smart and I'm going to find some cute stuff and I'm going to make it worth my buck. I got paid today. I don't do anything. I don't go out. I want some stuff now. So I'm going to do that. So let's go. Not everybody's disapproval. Should have washed your time sooner. Only heaven I'll be sent to. Thank you. I got myself some new makeup from Sephora because honestly, I have really. I have old makeup that's the excuse I have old makeup and I need new makeup so yeah 
that ran me $168 so that's really cutting into my $500 already I bought a lot of jeans a while ago so I don't need any new jean shorts jean skirts none of that I did want to get some shoes though um I didn't see any in what was I Nordstrom but we're gonna walk around and see maybe there's a Macy's or a JC Penny in here and you go in the sales section girl go in the sales section and get you some cute shoes these are some slippers. They're from Tory Burch's. Tory Burch. Um, they're so cute and they fit perfectly. And with my toes painted red, <laughs> they look really cute. Okay. I'll be wearing this at work, so I'll wear it with my. Stockings! So I need stockings! Does it stretch, do you think, over time? It's so cute! I like it, I think it's really cute. I don't know, maybe it won't look cute to some people, but in black, I think it could look cute work because my foot be hurting guys i'll be walking like eight miles a day i work alone all right so first off this one. it's nice all right that's one let me show you one of the next i really like this one and it's green yes honey you want to leave here all of them kind of look the same. Basically. I have two more that are different shapes. Let me show you the other two. This one is a different shape. You don't like this one? Too basic? The greens match, but they're a different company. Did you ever go to a, um, a lens crafters? Yes, oh, in, Buffalo. In, in Buffalo. In Buffalo, yeah. You don't like this one? It's a little too small. Too small? A little bit. I like the color. But I don't want to stick them all up. I have to see others. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I want a big look. So that's why I picked up... Oh. Two first so I'll show you the first. I just don't like the way the colors are Ah, but you know, I always like here. Like I always this. get. I think mm, there's yeah. This space in between. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize. That's the only thing that um would bother oh, yeah. me. Okay, let's see. I think the green one is a different one. I never realized that. Thing. But I think all of them probably are going to do that. That looks a little better though. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. Because that is a different. Let me see. It's nice, right? I like this one. Did you try this that one? one? Oh, this is lower. Let me see. Oh, this is pretty. Mommy, isn't this what you tried on? Okay. I like it, but the only thing it looks too okay. It looks too much like a shade. Okay, that's the shade. Mm -hmm. yeah. I keep seeing the borders. Yeah, no, 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 no,
these two. Because I want a big Can look. I just see the shape on you? I'm just oh. curious. I like the arm. Um, is it tortoise? Is that yes. what it is? Oh, I like this. Can I see that? You like it, mommy? I like Can it. Can I see that one? I like that on you. Yeah, this one is nice. Hmm. I have three. These three. This is pretty. Girl, I'm not even know. <laughs> the insurance better kick in, honey, because I'm leaving. Huh? Yeah, they're in network. What I meant is because I did find out from Macy's. What's this one? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it has purple in it and everything. It's got like tortoise. Purple. You don't like this one? No, she doesn't like it. Mm -mm. Okay. She doesn't like it. I like the shape. I think that the tortoise okay. is too much. Okay. But this, the, this one no, is I nice. I think I may go with this one. Is nice. Well, I didn't even get to show you these. Alright, guys, this is what I've decided to go with. You probably can't see it that well, but it's green, not black. Um, and this is what they look like. So these are them. These are the new glasses. I think they look really nice. Everybody loves them. Chad loves them. Mommy loves them. When I wear my red lipstick to work, oh, it's over for you. <laughs> Alright, bye. Our final stop for today will be Whole Foods. Um, I got mommy a gift and I got Chad a gift. So I'm just going to get something to eat and some groceries for the house. I may get flowers because, you know, I'm in that cute girls vibes today. Um, I'm just so happy, you know, like... I'm spending my money because I worked for it. And the little bit of money I have now buy me on Starland right now, so I might as well buy me some comfort stuff. <laughs> um Alright, when I get what I need, I'll come back. Hey, I'm on the phone, it's the next day with my doctor's office. Why did the music all of a sudden get so loud? Started off. Good afternoon, guys. I'm at the dermatologist, um, and it's very sunny. It's 71 degrees in New York right now, and I got no jacket on. I got a little shirt. And I'm looking cute. I painted my nails red, but they keep smudging on everything. But I'm very much impressed with myself. I just need to clean it up and fix up some of the smudge marks. But that's for another day. So when I was in Japan, I had this little breakout happen and I'm not sure if it was because of any of the food, but it stayed with me for like a good month and sometimes it come on and off, on and off. My eyebrows is actually also falling out, which is very weird because I've always had thicker eyebrows. I didn't have the thickest eyebrows, but I always had thicker and now you can barely see them. So my GP recommended, I I'm so sorry, there's a highway right there. My GP recommended that I come to the dermatologist, so I'll let you know what he says, girl. If your eyebrows are falling out, just stay tuned. <laughs> We're all finished. So basically what the dermatologist said to me is that the inflammation slash rash reaction that I received when I was in Japan she's accrediting my eyebrow hair loss to that so I did get some injections in my eyebrows I'll try to insert the video on the side here um, to help with the inflammation in my eyebrows um, so she said that one um, session that I just did for both the eyebrows should help with said inflammation and that in turn should help with the hair growing back so we'll see I have a next appointment scheduled for a month from today um, 
hopefully I won't need that next shot my eyebrows oh they, they feel so painful but you know what I'm putting my faith in this and just hoping for the best now um, the rash since I currently don't have it there's nothing that she can really look at other than the pictures that I showed her so she just gave me a cream I believe for my eyebrows I need to read the instructions and show mommy I'm pretty sure it's from my eyebrows um the next thing I got some another cream for I get some ingrown hair bumps and dark spots in my bikini line not as, as not as much as I used to get when I was a little bit younger I don't shave anymore I wax uh, but still they're there she gave me a cream for that and she gave me a tretinoin because I really want a um, retinoid for my face because I do love using retinol I'm just gonna have to find another vitamin C serum because I love using vitamin C as well but yeah she gave me like a routine and all and you know I'm, I'm ready because summer is coming up and I'm not the person to have skin issues like that so ciao someone needs to it needs to be my this needs to be my summer so I need to have good skin and thick eyebrows so yeah that's it I'm gonna go um, exchange a shoe size at the mall hopefully I don't see anything that I like because I don't got money to be spending like that <laughs> so I'm really gonna go this time like it. I'm back in my four walls please mind the mess I'm gonna change my sheets today and my towel but I head to London tomorrow. I picked up a work trip, which I'm really, really excited for. I don't even think I showed y'all what I got yesterday. Should I do a little haul real quick? Let me do a haul real quick and show you guys what I got. Let me just empty out this bag. One thing I hate doing is leaving stuff in a bag that I may possibly need. So let me put these things away. Definitely not bringing this bag with me. Tomorrow, so I'm gonna put it, put it up. Okay, all right, so these things are very close. I got this sneakers, these Adidas Samoa sneakers. Um, it says made in Vietnam. I don't know the colorway, so sorry, but yeah, it's green and yellow, really pretty. Then I got this hat, this New York Yankees hat, and I think it's real cute. And I'm gonna be wearing it a lot this summer, especially when I go on my NIPD layovers, so I don't shag up my skin any more than it already is in my face. The next thing I got um, were these Tory Burch slippers. I already put them in the dust bag because I plan to travel with them. Has some cute flip flops in there. Uh, they look like this. Really pretty, very basic, but versatile. <laughs> Black is my color. Black is definitely my shade. And then I bought this um, card holder. I needed a new one. I had some problems with somebody that gave me a card holder and I really feel like it has bad energy. I don't want it nowhere near me or my money. So I got a new one. This is what the back looks like. And this is the front. With that also, I'm so sorry I'm out of breath, but I was just walking around and I walked up the stairs instead of taking the elevator. I got this coach purse. This is my new everyday purse. Um, it's so cute. This is it. Uh, it has a little, like, you know, the hand handbag shoulder strap, but it also has a full body or cross body strap. I'm not, it's in here. I'm not going to take it out right now, but this is what it looks like if I were to wear it. And I'm in love. I spent my money on myself yesterday and I think I deserved it. I really needed it. I was sad. Retail therapy ain't hurt nobody and I work for it and I don't go out. I'm just telling you all the ways why I justify my money but it's my money and I'm gonna spend it how I want it because I worked for it um I don't think I bought anything well I lied that's a lie let me hurry up and show y'all what I bought I got all of these from Sephora I got this new Fenty Beauty foundation 
the Sephora bronzer. This is what it looks like. I got this Huda Beauty baking powder. It's really pretty. I really like the packaging. This is what it looks like. And it flips up with a, um, a sponge underneath. I accidentally dropped some nail polish remover on it though. So it have a little smudge but who cares. I got this concealer from Sephora. And I got this matchstick from Fenty Beauty to contour my face. I got this sponge to apply my powder with and I got a birthday gift from Sephora it's used to the people um, all of these three things let me make sure y'all can see all of these th three things are inside the packaging basically a face wash a moisturizing cream and a mask so I'll be bringing the face wash with me on my trips because I feel like it's the perfect size for like a three day or four day, even a five day. This is a perfect size for like a whole week, two months worth, to be honest. But yeah, that's that. The final thing, I was going to buy some food. I don't want to put the store name just in case like the person gets in trouble. But, well, not that they will, but I was going to go buy some food, a salad. And time come for checkout and... The guy at the, the checkout desk was like, it's on me, just come back. I was like, you're going to make me cry. That was so nice, right? Completely free. And he gave me a lot, like, he really full up the plate. That was so nice. So, that's my post-workout meal. I'm about to eat something else and go to the gym. And I'll see y'all in London. Make sure you like up the video. Comment, 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 share, subscribe, and bye. Like this, I like being my love. <laughs> okay, I love being your love. I'm trying to show you up. You are comfortable. She really my latest girl. Oh. She really my favorite girl. Hey guys, I finally made it to the hotel. I'm going to show you a really, really quick room tour. This is the entrance. And here is the bathroom. It's definitely one of the bigger hotels that I've seen slash stayed in in London. It's actually pretty large. This is not the same hotel that I stayed in the last time that y'all saw me. Um, so yeah, go and check out that video if you want to see what that hotel is looking like just your closet space your typical stuff and then your room well my room <laughs> full body mirror because y'all know the girls have to look at herself and overall i like it very cute my view though is nothing <laughs> i don't mind i really like these sheer curtains um i can still feel like i'm getting light but still have my privacy and that's really it for the very quick room tour make sure you go and check out my tiktok and i'll see you when i'm ready get ready with me my skin is getting a lot better i've been drinking a lot more water well i've been drinking as much water as i've been used to drinking my closure is showing and I went and tried to conceal it and your girl used black pencil. Normally I use brown but the brown wasn't giving. So I went and did black and now black looks I look crazy. Um so I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer. Or should I just leave it alone? You know what? Let me load it because I feel like the more I do, the worse it gets. I'm going to put on the Fenty, um, what is it called again? The Fenty Soft Lit Foundation. Naturally Luminous Long Wear Foundation. I'm only going to put a little bit on because the way I put my makeup on, I literally just try to... Hold on. 
I literally just tried to get um, my under eyes and my lips, my woman stash covered up. Not my brush. At first I was thinking, damn, this is really orange. But when I really put it on, I realized it's not. It's literally perfect. And I'm very proud that I shade matched myself. It ain't perfect, perfect. It is a little bit orange, but it's not as orange as I thought it was. Like I said, I'm gonna put on a little bit because I plan to put on concealer which is the Sephora best skin ever. And if it don't, if it don't look like nothing, that mean I did a good job. <laughs> because I'm a girl that loves a no makeup makeup look. I love when people are like, are you wearing makeup? Because I don't want people to not that I don't want people to think I'm wearing makeup, I don't care. But I like, I get a little proud, you know, because I'm like, damn, you think this is my real face? Thank you. I'm about to contour with this matchstick from Fenty. I'm not going to put any in my um, temples. Somebody on TikTok was like, girls need to stop contouring down here. And they need to contour up here. I don't want it up here. I don't want my face to look like that. I love a hollow cheekbone. But a hollow full face cheekbone. Not a hollow maga face cheekbone. If you understand, you understand. Um, while my uh, concealer and my contour is setting, I'm going to fix my eyeliner. So I'll be right back. I probably should have fixed the eyeliner after I did the concealer. I wasn't thinking. Just gonna blend out that. That's the look I like. I decided to leave the bronzer at home because the bronzer was actually crazy, guys. You need to see all the bronzer have been looking like. I think I may have to bring it back and get a different shade because that bronzer was actually crazy it was it was wild i'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on i don't like this mascara but i forgot to buy a new one so okay i'm gonna put on some blush set my under eye and i'll be back in better lighting See what a bit of natural lighting. You see what I'm talking about? Whose white baby is this? Whose white baby is this? <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm ready. Um, I'm just wearing this black shirt, my jeans that I always wear. I'm gonna show you in the mirror. Um, and my new sneakers. I'm gonna bring my hat and I shall. If I could get it over my shoulder. Got with my little purse. All right, let me flip the camera so you can really see the vision as it comes to life. So here's the outfit. I feel like a Sims character. My shoes, the star of the show. My purse, the main star of the show. And of course, I'm gonna walk with my um, leather jacket because it's supposed to drop down to the 50s um tonight so this is really the outfit and i really want to bring my hat and i'm not taking this out <laughs> and i'm not taking this off <laughs> i don't know i've just been impressed but the thing is when i put my hat on i don't got no makeup on my forehead or nothing but i put the hat on right i might have to pull it all the way down for it to like look how i want it to look and then if I do that, look, I don't even have it all the way down. Um, um, look, yeah, that's crazy. So I don't know. 
I may bring it. I may not wear it until I can figure out. Like, I'm going to walk with a comb, of course. But my hair is fresh, you know. It's fresh. I don't need, I don't need a hat right now. But the hat completes the look. Drop a comment down below. What would you have done? Would you wear the hat, but you have to keep it on all day? Would you wear the hat, take it off, fix your hair, and don't care about how it looks? Not wear the hat. Let me know. All right, let's go, because it's literally almost noon, and I haven't left the hotel yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm in Nando's. They're playing music. Like I said, never been here before. The um, seater or server just showed me how the menu works and how everything works. So I think I'm gonna get a chicken fry, um, chips, and probably some coleslaw. Yeah. There's two ways to pay, either um, the QR code or up at the tail. So, alright, never mind. Hi. Can I have a quarter? Hmm? Number. 20. Can I have a quarter chicken and. Ketchup is not going anywhere. Yeah, just the ketchup is really hard to get out. I feel like I really want to go to sleep. It's been almost 20 hours and I haven't slept. It's crazy. But I'm done and the food is good. We're gonna head now to Camden Town. I'm gonna take the Victoria line and go to the market. I'm trying to find it so you can see. Right over here. I just want a rough neck, look on the tongue. You just want to suck me on the back with a drum. Catch me if I finish now, bitch, I just want to run. I ain't giving out no money to no bitch, just want to run. Call the four sections to your phone. subway well no the tube heading to Camden Town my makeup looks nice I'm so proud of myself I think I finally have a really nice makeup look that I like um I'm so tired when I was eating that food I felt like I was gonna fall asleep in the plate I feel like I could just fall but if I go to sleep jet lag is gonna win and I'm gonna wake up at like one in the morning and then be messed up for my seven hour flight. So I can't go to sleep until like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. That's a hack. Um, a flight attendant taught me, one of the senior flight attendants, she was like, no, he was like, just don't go to sleep. Wherever you are, or if you reach at nighttime, go to sleep. If you reach in the day, don't go to sleep. Just try to get your body as accustomed to that time change as quickly as possible. Anywho, um, I'm at Houston, which the last hotel that I stayed at is, this is the closest station to that hotel. Um, so Camden is one stop away. 
Um, let's go. As you see, I'm in Urban Outfitters. I'm about to try on this skirt and this dress. This sport is a getting anything here but I did try on those stuff as you can see and it was fun uh, they just did not fit me how I wanted them to fit me so it was a flop The last time I came was with Jada. Big up Jada. Jada brought me here. So now I feel comfortable coming here myself. Um, and it was so easy to get here. I'm telling my crew members where I am. So I know some of them went shopping. But yeah. Careful with that in Camden. Be very careful. Were they robbing people? I got my bubble tea and I know it looks kind of crazy, but kind of have like a green tea, lychee tea with the mango boba. It's really not bad. It don't look like the cutest thing in the world, but it's really good. And this is a much more quiet part of the city so yeah I completely feel like I can be a new person in a new city because one I be talking to people I be talking to people there's this guy on the train he was reading a book it looked interesting and he was really into it so I was like what is your book about and he told me the whole book I got it I'm gonna read it because it does sound pretty interesting but then we started having a conversation on the train you know like oh what are you doing here are you from here because then he saw the camera and whenever people see my camera they always ask are you a vlogger and i never lie so it's always a conversation starter and they're always so interested in it but i only had one stop left so i'm like this is actually my stop and we just said bye nice meeting you nice meeting you um, so that was pretty fun but I feel like if I were to live here I sometimes worry about like not knowing if I'll make friends you know but I feel like I need to 
I need to make friends. I feel like New York though is a hard place to make friends because the consensus, I don't even know if that's the right word, but the consensus for New York is that people are so like, oh, don't talk to me. <laughs> so I don't know, but I, I think I should try. That's gonna be my goal for next month. Um, is to try and make one new friend on an outing or one new acquaintance on an outing. I think that would be nice. Anyways, bye. Well, well. I had to come back up on a popular street and I was just saying to myself that it was nice while it lasted. The calmness was really nice. But now we're going to be thrust back into the chaos of a Saturday afternoon in London. Hi guys, it's Jamaica color. <laughs> It's actually really nice. I think these are so cute. They're 80 pounds. I'm gonna try them on and see. Guys, I just went to the coach store and my suspicions are confirmed. My purse that I just got, that you just saw me buy, that I'm now wearing for the first time ever, looks so dull compared to the ones in store. I took it out the dust bag when I'm ready to wear it this morning. I'm like, why does it look so faded and just like stained in a way? Um, so they compared it with the bag that they have and they're like, yeah, it does look dull. <laughs> and then on top of that, um, she's like, this is the one that everybody be trying on too. With that being said though, it could be different batch, different countries, different products. So when I get back to New York, I'm going to go back to the mall and just ask them, like look at these two pictures because we took comparison pictures. Anyways, I was going to take the tube home, but the walk is, and home is the hotel, <laughs> but the walk is 35 minutes. So I've been walking all day anyways. I'm just going to add this 35 minutes to my route and I'm not going to the gym tonight because I was just going to go on the treadmill and walk anyway. So this is my workout. Um, I'm really tired. I feel like I'm starting to get a migraine. I'm an hungry bad. And I don't want to drop down on the people them I to cancel flight tomorrow because I can a drop down on their hospital. <laughs> I need to go home. It's literally, um, what time? Four, it's about to be 5 p.m. So I think this is the perfect time to walk on home. And if I see anything that I can stop and look at, I will. But to add to that, London is so much more expensive than New York. And let me tell you why, at least with shopping, because there's a purse in Coach, the Lana shoulder bag in large. It's 495 US and it's also 495 pounds. So if you do the conversion, it's around 630 something US for the bag that is going for 495. So I'm like, ah, me and the clerk laughed about it. Like it doesn't make sense for me to um, pay that much money when if I'm going back to New York to pay less. It makes no sense. Anyways. Oh! There's a pop-up shop. Oh, how cool. I'm going home though. But that is so cool. I wish I was here for longer. 24 hours is not enough. Anyways. <laughs> Bye. Everybody's staring at me strange in the street. I don't care. I'll never see y'all again. Probably. <laughs> Bye. And then since they want to watch, peak Taurus. Peak. I don't know what the heck is going on up here. Oh. There's a lot of beautiful cars around here. A lot of beautiful cars. Oh crap, let me hurry up. These are beautiful.
something so irresponsible. I used my last 3% to record those beautiful cars. <laughs> so now my phone keeps dying. I'm trying to figure out my way back to the hotel. I have 30 minutes. I have to walk through this park. I know I have to pass Buckingham Palace. I know I have to pass some muse, Buckingham Palace muse type place. And then after that, I have no idea. So, um, sorry. I'm just winging it back to the hotel. I don't know where the hell I'm going, but by the grace of God, I'll make it back. Um, I got until 7.05 a.m. tomorrow, pickup time. So, I'll make it. I'll make it work but yeah so we're going on a tour date I don't know why I didn't get the brilliant idea to take a picture of the maps take a picture of the Google Maps with my camera because then I could have zoomed in on the route on my camera but I didn't do that so now we're back at square one I just know I crossed through this park cross by Buckingham Palace and go up. I can just ask around for Victoria Station and once I get to the station I can find my way to the hotel. But this is actually really really funny. If you hear a clicking noise it's the lens cap hitting against the um, tripod. But some of these are people's backyards and it's breathtaking. Like this is someone's house. That's crazy. Or not even someone's house just private property. But it's crazy. It's a very calm park. Um, Google said it's called the Green Park. I don't know if it has another name, but it was literally the Green Park. Not bad. Buckingham Palace. So crazy story. This guy that I just asked. I asked him if this is Buckingham Palace and he's like, I'm a tourist, I don't know. But I'm trying to get to Victoria Station. And I'm like, crazy. Me too. So, we're walking together now. So I didn't want to record too much while I was with the um, gentleman. His friend was there as well. And they're from Pakistan and Sri Lanka. And they moved to England. They're working with a company. Um, the young man from, sorry. The young man from Pakistan, he just moved here a little under a month ago and the other young man from Sri Lanka he moved here 10 months ago oh my god I'm so grateful today was a really good day actually because now I'm almost at the hotel which really is right around here somewhere I just know all these things I'm recognizing so I know I'm not far and if anything, yeah, it's definitely, it's right here. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna go charge my phone and figure out what we can eat. And that's it. This was a very adventurous vlog. Um, getting lost back to my roots. If y'all remember when I was in Jamaica and getting lost every left turn while driving through the country. Here we are now. So, ah. Uh, Getting lost again in another country. That's crazy. If I lived here, that would have been three friends, well, three acquaintances that I would have made today. I'm out of breath. This is my hotel. I'll see y'all later. Bye. I was scrolling through the internet. My phone is back on. I'm going to pop over to Mark's and Spencer's really quickly. I'm going to do some shopping some grocery shopping while i'm here because one thing i can definitely say for sure is that the food be cheaper in the uk which is so amazing 
Um, so I'm just gonna buy some stuff that I could take home with me. Even though my suitcase is overweight. Well, it's not overweight. My suitcase is packed to the brim. And I've only worn this one outfit. Like, what is wrong with me? The ifs and but, the what ifs, the maybe if be happening way too often in my head that be making me put extra shoes, extra shirt. I think I have six, six shirts. And I probably have, I have the jeans skirt, the jeans shorts. <laughs> I got so much stuff in my bag that I'm just, you're not gonna wear none of these. Sorry. So let's just see what we can, we can fit. Lift is going down. I could see myself living in London for a good year. I could, I could do that. What do y'all think? Should I try something like that? Like, I could try to figure out how I can do it. Even like three months or something and commute to work. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in m &S. So, I got my stuff. Didn't have time to show you all. But I also got some McDonald's. So I'm trying to go to Sainsbury's to see if I can get some other desserts and treats. I have no idea where it is, but I'll find it. Sorry, I just had to ask for directions because I don't know where the heck I'm going. I'm wearing my cute shoes though. But yeah, we're basically inside the um, Victoria Station. This is the above ground side and they have the underground as well. So if you ever come up here, make sure when you go to uh, the tube that you're not taking the wrong one. Definitely, definitely, definitely ask for help. Because if you go on the above ground and you go to the wrong um, platform you get on that train and you're gone baby you are gone so make sure that you go to the right place but this is nice it's almost like central grand central station just british <laughs> okay um i have no idea so i'm gonna have to ask another person if it's this escalator or if it's this escalator which i think it is this one Okay, sorry about the shakiness. I'm about to put away everything. Uche is paused on TikTok. <laughs> but I got sandwiches, um, muffins to bring back home, pasta to bring back home. Go and check out my TikTok video if you want to see like a more detailed video. I'm so tired. I feel like I, I was about to fall asleep sitting up. I, I'm that tired. So I'm about to put these things in the fridge. I just wanted to make sure... So why the fridge so oh cool? Um, I just wanted to make sure that I at least showed you guys, you know. Um, but this is tomorrow business. I just ate my McDonald's and I'm not gonna lie, that was a good, good, good cheeseburger. That's everything refrigerated. That was so good. That was. That was next level. That was that was something special. Ooh. Christ Almighty. Um <laughs> Well why would they put this here knowing people put food right there? Like what kind of foolishness that What kind of foolishness that why put this something? Oh okay, 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 okay. Oh, nobody tell me about them things because right here is cold i'd rather the food sitting on the cold shelf so it, like it's a cold you know purr all right yeah that woke me right up but i do need to go to sleep so i can get up i got a recommendation to go to shoreditch tonight um the box truck is the box what's she say with my tiktok video it's actually doing well it's it's not it's not a crazy video it's just
That's really it. I was just bored and I'm like, let me just do something fun. Uh, which I should do more often on TikTok because TikTok, when it starts to become like a business for me at least, it just starts to feel like it starts to feel like work and I don't want everything to feel like work. I really don't. I want it to still be fun, you know? Go to Shoreditch in the evening, box park area. I'ma try. I'ma try. I'ma set an alarm for like ten no nine o'clock and I'll try. But girl, I am so tired. With that being said, I'll see y'all later tonight. If I do fall asleep and I don't wake up until tomorrow, girl, I'll see you when I'm getting ready for work. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you already know. Be squad. This is my outfit. I'll flip the camera around and show you my makeup soon. But I'm all packed and ready to go. This is my I shop over abroad bag. We're allowed three bags. Well, my airline at least. So I always keep this bag packed away in the back of my suitcase. So when I do shopping like this, I can just put everything. It's a big bag. Put everything inside the bag. And Galang Boma business, and you would never know. But yeah, I'm ending off the video. I need to head downstairs right now to catch breakfast. We have five minutes to get our to go boxes and get on the bus. So I will see you guys in another vlog. Make sure you like this. I like in my love. I love being your love. I'm trying to show you up. Hey, no, but the, she really did. Hey, this girl. She really my favorite girl. I'm loving the way.